All right, so I just do my presentation on photo period and sheep. Um, all right, so the definition of photo period is just the length of time in a day that an animal is exposed to light. Um, and so the way that this applies to sheep, so sheep are seasonally polyesterous short egg rears, which is a lot of words, but basically it means that they start having that they start um, having their estrus cycles as the days are getting shorter, so as the photo period gets shorter. Um, so they begin cycling in the fall, and their cycles last about 16 to 17 days. So they cycle roughly September to December, give or take a little bit based on the animal and where they're at and like located on the earth. Like on the earth. Um, usually they are bred in October or November, but again, it can be earlier or later. <clears throat> All right, so the whole reason behind the difference between short day breeders and long day breeders. So in the wild, um, for survival of young, the best potential is, or the best for best potential for survival is if the animal is born in the spring. So their breeding is dependent on the length of their gestation. So sheep and goats are about 150 days, which is about five months. So they need to be bred in the fall in order to have their young born in the spring. And then horses are about 11 months, so they need to breed in the late spring or early summer. All right, so melatonin. Um, melatonin is a modified amino acid, and it's made by the pineal gland, which is right here in this diagram. This diagram is actually of a sheep brain. If you look, there's um, this like round uh, structure here. This is the thalamus, and then this like pine cone shaped um, structure behind it is the pineal gland, and that's where melatonin is kind of where it comes from. Um, so melatonin is produced by the pineal gland when the animal is not exposed to light. And um, it's linked to sleep patterns in humans and also reproductive cycles in a lot of different species of animals. Did you, did you say what brain that came from? What yeah, this, this actually comes from a sheep brain. Oh, excellent, excellent, yeah. Or this is actually a sheep brain. Um, <coughs> All right, so the mechanism of um, their breeding. So essentially the retina is stimulated by light uh, when the animal, during the day when the animal is exposed to light. And then it's relayed to an area in the hypothalamus that is known to control the so-called biological clock of the animal. And then that signal is again relayed back to the pineal gland. So when light is abundant during the long day period, there is an excitatory pathway that's active and it inhibits the release of melatonin in the sheep's brain. Um, and then so when melatonin is, during the short day period, melatonin can be released in sheep and then it causes um, the release of GnRH or gonadotropin releasing hormone from the hypothalamus. Um, and then, so just to continue it. So then GnRH comes from the hypothalamus to um, activate the anterior pituitary, wow, words, anterior pituitary gland to release LH and FSH, which are important for um, cycling. Those are the hormones involved in their cycle. Um, so also, rams are also affected, which I didn't know this until I did my research on this, but their sperm production decreases in the spring, just like the females stop cycling in the spring. Yeah, but it never goes to zero. Right, it's, yeah. It's less. There's yes. no doubt about that. And then um, a, another fun fact, actually, this the opposite of this happens in horses. So when they're exposed to melatonin, melatonin actually inhibits the release of GnRH in horses. And then melatonin is actually um, orally active, so you can also feed it to sheep to make them cycle during their anesthesia period. Right, oh, look at my name's up there. I know. <laughs> <laughs> God bless you. <laughs>